That's actually a, a terrific segue because I do have a challenge here that I'm going to I'm going to get to, which is uh, says fifteen dollar challenge for Graham. What was the most surprising thing about being beardless for the first time in more than a for more than a decade, and do you plan to grow it back? So mm -hmm. first first of all, happy to address uh, the, the elephant in the room, but we weren't allowed outside guests. So instead, I'll just talk about how I got cancer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 no notes. Thank you. Woo! Um, <laughs> it's been 15 minutes of my face hurts. You can't do this. Oh, I sure can. Welcome back. Oh, so, yeah, um, I've been... Uh, uh, I, I talked about this on Loading Ready, on Loading Ready Live um, a while back. There's a YouTube video that I'm sure somebody can link to if you're interested. Um, but, yeah, I, I got diagnosed with uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is better than Hodgkin's lymphoma, <laughs> back in uh, May, and I've been going through chemotherapy. I've actually done what we believe to be my final chemotherapy treatment, and I'm going to be finding out later. Uh, we, we assume everything's going well. Um, there's no reason to believe that, that it won't have, that that will not have all gone well. Right. Um, but I don't have, technically speaking, the final confirmation for that. When I do, you'll all know about it. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm happy to answer questions about it. Any kind. Like, if, if I don't want to, I just want to answer the question. But I'm open season for asking questions about it. Uh, totally cool. Um, I, I've learned so many strange things. <laughs> <laughs> about my body and bodies in general, and I'll happily share it with you. So, uh, yeah, but that's why uh, I look different than perhaps previous desert buses. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to stop wearing the hat, actually, because it's really warm in here. So, yeah. But, yeah, the hair is slowly coming back. Um, the weirdest thing about being beardless for the first time more than a decade, it's cold. Um, actually, eating uh, eating cupcakes is a lot a lot easier now because oh, stuff yeah. doesn't get yeah. caught yeah. in the mustache. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Um, I appreciate that of all of the foods and things that get stuck in mustache, you went to cupcakes. Cupcakes. You don't, uh, yeah. have you not done the, the secret tech where you... Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah no, I, I take it off yeah. and make a sandwich out of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I still do that, but yeah, yeah well, just getting stuff, uh, getting yeah. food stuck in the beard is a pleasant <laughs> thing, but I am going to bring the mustache back because, yeah, I don't... It's, I, I have like a cleft chin in, in that, yeah. but... Subtly, but uh, I, I prefer the, the the look with the beard. So. Yeah, I was gonna say you mentioned the mustache. Are you doing the full beard when you bring it back? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's the the mustache. Like a week ago, yeah. in certain lights, my mustache looked like it had a five o'clock shadow. Like it was coming back. Yeah. And then it it all fell out again. Even though it had been like three weeks since the chemo, no one understands how this works. Mm -hmm. I asked my I asked the oncologist. I was like, Hey, uh, my facial hair is starting to come back, but it's starting to come back uh, white. Is that, is it all, is my beard, am I going to become Graham the White? Like, is this just, <laughs> like what? is it all coming back white, or will it change? And he was like, maybe. Maybe That's... not. We don't know. It's cool. different every time. Right. And I was like, cool, 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 neat, all right, cool. Cool, cool, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So, good, yeah. Good, good. Anyway, there you go. The White Fox. All right. Thank you for your $15 donation for that challenge. That's <laughs> Graham Dolph the White. <laughs> Graham Dolph the White. God, no.